My name is Anna Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Forms. Today we will see how we can create a survey in Microsoft Forms. First you need to log into Office 365, then click Forms, click New Form. We'll choose a name from, for, to our survey and we'll just call this Customer Survey and say that we want to create a survey for my own IT courses. So uh, the description could be Anna Jensen Courses. We could choose to add in a picture however let's add a theme so go click theme up here and we can see that there's a lot of different uh, themes here but we'll uh, choose this one with the computer now we are ready to add in some questions so click add new first we will click text and we could ask for the user's name so watch your name and here we could choose to have a subtitle. So click the three dots, click subtitle, and we could say leave blank if you wanna be anonymous, like this. So uh, now he will enter his or her answer here, and we could choose to expand the answer box like this. However, we won't. We could also choose to have uh, this one to be a required answer if you wanna fill in the survey. We'll click this however then he couldn't be anonymous so let's not do that then we'll add a new question this one will be a text again and we could say what's your email address we could have a question mark and we could also have a question mark up here it's easy to edit the questions like this now we go back to our second question and this one could be again leave blank if you want to be anonymous, like this. This one is another required answer as well. So let's have an add new. Now it's time to rate me as an instructor. So click choice. You will say, how was your instructor? Like this. Then we could uh, choose not to have a subtitle on because uh, it's more than enough with the title. So click subtitle away, like this. Say that we want to add in a picture or a video to this question, then we'll just uh, click the media here. We can see that we can add an image or a video. We'll choose image. We could either search on Bing for Anna Jensen or whatever we want, or we could upload a picture. So click upload. I've saved a um, picture of myself on the desktop, so choose that one, whatever you want, and click open. Now we got a picture of me, and it's actually me and my dog here as well, to this question. We can add in some options. So first we will have a uh, grade, then we will have a option two, average. Then we will have a third option, so we need to click add option here. This one will be uh, not good. Like this, we don't hope that he or she will click this one. Now it's time for our final question, so click add new. We will have a rating of the course, so click rating. Here we can see that we can specify a number of levels and what symbol we want to have. It. We could specify from 2 to 10 levels, stars in this case, or we could have stars on numbers. We'll just do stars because that's easy to figure out. So, um, how was your overall impression of the course? Like this. Now we are uh, done, so we can click share over here. We can see that first we can specify if we only want people in the organization to respond or we want anyone with a link that could respond. So click the anyone with the link. Now we copy the address here. We can also, for example, generate a QR code, uh, HTML link, or we can send our mails. But um, we will do fine with this um, um, direct link. So then we go to another browser where we're not logged in. So I just use Firefox, that's fine. We'll copy in our unique survey link. So now we can see our survey here. We can try to fill it in. Let's just fill it in for, let's say, Anna Jensen. My mail address is uh, mymail.com. How was your instructor? He was great. And the course was really good. Then we'll click submit. And you can see here what's happening. Now we could submit in another response. So this one will be what's your name, Mette Frederiksen. Uh, what's your email address? This one will be mymail.com again. 
the instructor was average. And how was your overall impression of the course? Four stars. Click Submit. Now we got two responses to our uh, survey. Then we can go back to our survey here and we can see that it's immediately updated with the responses. It will create a, a nice um, some nice results for us. We can see two responses. We got the names, we got the mails here as well, and we got um, this uh, how we have great, average, not good. We can see one great and one average. We even got the average rating as well. However, this one you'll rarely use it, but what we'll do here is that we could open it in Excel like this. We can click it. Now we will open our survey results and we can when we got that we can see it here that we um, we would um, we would have our survey results here in a table and let me just comment this briefly so we get an idea it's just a unique idea but this one is the first one this is the second one this one is the time and mine says start this one that's danish for start time yours will say whatever language your windows is in then we have fatty goddesses to this point that's end time We'll have the mail and the name, and now you'll say, "Oh, that's weird." But this is only used when we, uh, when we, when the user is logged into the office himself. So then his his or her mail will be here, and his name will be here. But we asked about it. You remember? So this one will be the name here and the mail. How here we can see how he or she rated our um, instructor, and this is one is the overall rating. We could make some nice graphs of this when we get more survey results coming in. That's it for now. Please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, that will really help me a lot. Have a good day. Bye-bye.